Did some of you, I don't know if some of you watched the Democratic National Convention, this is not a political speech or anything, but I tweeted about it, Facebooked about it, because Elizabeth Warren gave a speech that to me was, I had to pull the car over because I started to cry, I was so moved by it. But she says, she said in part this, this is the part that I was really like, oh God. She said, Mitt Romney's the guy who said corporations are people. And she said, no, Governor Romney, corporations are not people. People have hearts, they have kids, they get jobs, they get sick, they cry, they dance, they live, they love, and they die. And that matters. That matters because we don't run this country for corporations, we run it for people. So, I look, I'm still really affected by those words, uh, you know, God. I think as I started to think about what she was discussing, it started to make me think about the nature of service. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, it's ironic because government officials and civil servants are, are elected by their cons constituents to serve, right? And though, so then it started make, making me think about, well, maybe we've lost the, the spirit or the connection of what being in service is, which is a actually at a deep level is impossible because all human beings are here to serve. That's what you are here for, whether you really realize it or not. You don't because you are overshadowed by this other part of yourself, the ego part that wants to uh, exercise its own agenda, right? And it, and it wants its needs met first. Sure, of course. That's what's so interesting about political debates because you really see, you know, people trying to shove their points of view down other people's throats. You guys, to be in service is simply to be a conduit for something greater to move through you that serves all people. It benefits all people. That is so amazing to me. That everybody in this room has that part in their DNA to, to, to make everybody else's life who you come in contact with better. It does. But again, it's very difficult to get clear on that because the ego identification part of us wants to operate uh, itself by identifying with the positive and negative reinforcements of who you are. So let me just say this. The positive parts, you know those parts of you and other people you've seen. You know that the positive ones, well, they're, they're actually, they're all negative. But it shows up as a positive in, in your psyche when you're like, yeah, I'm the shit. I'm really good. I'm awesome. You know, what else? You know, I'm like, you know, that part of you, right? The part that needs to be heard above all else. And then there's the, the negative reinforcement part which is also just as loud and just as destructive, which is that part of you that's, I can't do it. It's not gonna happen for me. I'm not talented. I'm already 40 years old and I still don't have an agent or whatever those things are. Listen, your job, your only job is to be a channel. That's it, is to be a channel. That's it. That's what you are, is a channel. When I was listening to the the, the speech, and then I started to fast forward to, you know, the upcoming election, I started thinking about, well, those people, they're just not plugged in. I'm plugged in. They're not plugged in, right? That's what we think. When we have sort of discrepancies with people, your nemesis, nemesis, is that a word? Your nemesis is in life, people you don't like, people who bring up your stuff, we think that we're plugged in and they're not. But the truth is, we're all plugged in. What are we plugged into? This thing that I'm always teaching, which is universal consciousness, the, the, the creative matrix, infinite intelligence. We are all infinite intelligence. The thing is, is you just have to refine your bandwidth. Speaking of what is that thing? Direct TV and cable. You see, I know nothing about it. I had to look up the word bandwidth. You need to refine your bandwidth. You need to retune yourself so that you stay plugged into your channel. You know how you do that? It's very simple. Get out of the way. I'll say it again. Get out of your way. You guys, you cannot solve, the problems that you have in life cannot be solved at the level in which you created them. I'll say it again. <laughs> the problems that you're trying to overcome in life 
You cannot overcome them at the level in which the ego part of you created them. Do you know how you overcome them? Is you stay plugged into the channel, which gives you access to information. Aha, insight, awareness, an opening, a breath, clarity, a let go. That then gets you to overcome the thing that can't be figured out or solved from the egoic place. I just wrote down briefly, quickly in the car, you didn't get the job? So what? Keep your channel open. The guy you liked didn't call you? So what? Keep your channel open. You got dropped by your agent? So what? Keep your channel open. You tanked an audition? So what? Just keep your channel open. So here's something to think about this week. Number one, you're here to serve. You are. Can you just try to get back into remembering that? Number two, as artists, I think it's really interesting and even deeper understanding of being in service. You know what? I said this to one of the classes last night. The story is the star. You're not the star. Sorry. Actors are not the stars, even though we're told it's about stars, stars. You want to be a star? Story is star. You're there to be a channel to serve that story. Get out of the way and let that story be told through you non-judgmentally. Non the last thing is, as you are challenged by life as surely you will you could be in an audition situation you could be on a date you could be at work whatever it is instead of trying to exercise your own agenda and trying to get through it from the place that we generally try to get through it push force maneuver manipulate what if you tried a different tactic just silently said to yourself how can i best be in service to this situation how can i just serve this situation see what will happen just try that this week just try it mentally. Do that as a mantra and then let it go. Okay, that's all I have to say.